Sunday, February 26, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. I like to talk about uh, the Fibonacci retracement in gold and silver to, uh, today, going back 20 years uh, or just a little less than 20 years on the monthly chart. And uh, I'll put a link also below in the description about Fibonacci. Uh, he was an Italian mathematician uh, in the 12th century. Uh, his real name was Leonardo Bonacci. He was a monk as well. And he developed this sequence of numbers that led to the, you know, to the uh, people looking at the golden mean, uh, which is 61.8%. Basically, the sequence of number if you took uh, the previous number and d divided it into the following number, you always get 61.8% uh, retracement or a uh, proportion, so to speak. So, for example, the sequence starts at 1, and then you add 1 to it, so you get 2, So you and then you get 2 and you add one to it, which is the previous number, and you get three, and then you get you add three to two, you get five, and then you add five to three, you get eight, and that's how you get the Fibonacci sequence. And uh, yeah, I recommend you look into Fibonacci. But anyway, uh, m you know, other mathematicians found that through this sequence, you get this golden mean or proportion of 61.8. And over the ages, people have seen that uh, architects, uh, nature, uh, a lot of the proportions in nature uh, are the 61.8% retracement. And market uh, participants, financial markets, have used that as well. Um, you know, to look at uh, moves in the markets, price moves, and they've found out that a lot of times the 61.8 retracement or the inverse, which is 38.2 retracement, are very important in, in terms of uh, determining uh, tops or bottoms in the market. And you also get in between these two proportions, you get the 50% retracement. So, Let's uh, let's look at the, the gold chart first. Uh, let's go through it, you know, uh, and look at the retracement, the Fibonacci, uh, you know, retracement. Uh, going back to 1999, that was the low, uh, the post-1980 low at 252. And then we had, you know, the multi-year uh, bull market up until 2011. We got up to 1920, and you can see the that gold, basically the bottom in 2015, pretty much uh, stopped at the 50% retracement. We went through it a little bit. As you can see, we didn't stay there for that long. It was 1,045. The 50% retracement is 1,087. And then we've, you know, last year we went up. Uh, got up, got above the 38.2 retracement, which uh, is 12.84. But as you can see, before we got above that level, we tested that line actually about three times, and then the fourth time it went up, and we got up to 13.75. But then it failed again, and we went uh, back down. We didn't retest the 50% level, so right now. I would say 1284 is a key level to look at uh, in gold. We're pretty close to there. We, you know, we closed the week at around 1257. We could have gone down to the 61.8 retracement. Uh, that would have been around 890, and we could have had a consolidation like we've had, you know, between 50 and 38 there. You can see that a lot of the market action the last few years has has been, you know, in that region. Uh, so, uh, yeah, 1284 uh, is the key number now for gold, in my opinion. So let's look at uh, the silver chart. 
the the low in silver was like in 2001 there around four dollars we got up to 49.75 in uh, 2011 and as you can see the 50 percent retracement was around 27 dollars there in uh, 2011 to 2013 uh, or 2012 sorry and it was holding but then in 2013 we broke below that and we even went through the 61.8 retracement. Yes, yeah, sometimes, you know, things in nature are not perfect. But as you can see, the last, uh, you know, since 2014, we haven't been able to get back above that 61.8% retracement. And that is around uh, a 2165. So that's the key level in silver. What this chart tells me, though, is that silver... Uh, usually, of course, always underperforms in the bear market gold. But I think now that we're moving back up, uh, silver could catch up a lot quicker uh, than gold. So, for example, we could get back to the, you know, 50% retracement in silver uh, before, uh, you know, we get back to, uh, for example, before we get back... Uh, you know, uh, above 1400 in, in gold. So I think silver has uh, a lot more potential going forward. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Fibonacci retracement analysis. And uh, if you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up, share this video far and wide, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. If you'd like to donate to my channel as well, there's some links below in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.